Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to Atami. It's a cute seaside town in Shizuoka Prefecture. And we're mainly going to go to a museum and then just explore the town a bit, maybe eat some of the local food there. But I'm really excited. Even if it's kind of cloudy today and honestly quite rainy, I'm still excited to go and check it out. I've been meaning to, but Shogo is just not a fan of Atami. That's why I'm going by myself. Also, he has work today, so I'm excited. It's been a while since we've done a day trip. So yeah, I'll see you in Atami. It's about a two-hour ride from Shinjuku Station. So, let's go. So we've officially made it to Atami and before I go to the museum, I want to get some lunch and I was able to find a good spot. So hopefully the line isn't too long. It's called Yui. Let's see. Sakura. Maybe it's on the other side. Let's go. This one looks, oh my gosh, wait, it looks really busy. So I made it inside Yui, this is the name of the restaurant, or Shokudo, and I ordered an aji fry set, which I think only costs like 880 yen, which is so unheard of. Like if you go to Tokyo, that's at least 1,100 yen, so I'm really excited to try it. The reviews are really good about, like the reviews are, of this place are really good, um, and right as I got here, it opened, and it filled up completely, so yeah, this whole place is back, just right as it opened. I think I did a good job by like choosing to eat first before going to the museum. And then after this, I think there's a shopping street nearby. Um, and then from there, I'll check out the museum. But yeah, like the train ride over here wasn't too bad. It was like two hours and it was so cute. Ah, hi, Moana, two months Hi. And um, like everyone on the train, they were mostly girls, like, and they were all just going on a trip together. And it just, it made me feel so happy. Like, I don't know, in the future, I hope to do that with my friends too. Like, just go on a train ride somewhere and then just head out and explore other parts of Japan. But it's a pretty chill day trip. I think it's very easy to get to from Shinjuku and even Shinagawa, I think. And it's not too expensive because I think the train ride over here, it was two hours and it's a direct train. It only cost me, I think, 3,800 yen. And that was with a reserved seat. So you don't have to stand or anything like that. And I got a view of the ocean. Um, but going back, I think I do have to take a local train just because the timetable isn't really, like the trains won't come that often. So yeah, I don't think I'll stay too long, but I'm really excited to check out what is around in Atami because I've never been here. and. I've really been wanting to. I don't know why. I, I had a friend who went here once to Atami and she was like, it's a really depressing <laughs> old onsen town. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it is old and depressing. But hopefully it's not because then I'll try to convince Shogo to come here. And as I exited the station, I noticed that there were people dipping their feet in like an ashiyu and that's like a hot spring foot bath. It's a foot bath for your feet and it's really hot, so maybe I'll do it later. I did wear sandals today, so you know who knows. Mm. five minutes into the museum and I still haven't seen any art. It's just really big, it's like massive. There are like four, three or four flights of escalators that you have to go through. And yeah, I have no idea where the art is. Um, there are two routes though. So the first route is like, it brings you out to this terrace, which I think would be so much nicer if the weather was better. And there's another one, which I'm hoping leads me to the art because I don't have that much time here. It was quite harrowing to get here. Like you have to wait at the station to ride the bus and everyone is also riding the bus. So 
it, it gets really crowded and I was actually the last person they jammed onto the first bus before the second bus came. So I consider myself quite lucky. Um, but yeah, when you get here, you do have to pay for the entrance fee, which is like a thousand, almost a thousand eight hundred yen, which isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, now let's continue to explore the rest of the museum. I don't have too much time, but I just want to like try to make the most out of it. So yeah, let's go. It's really big. So. Also, I noticed that I'm the only one who's by myself. Everyone else in here is in a pair. But it's fine because I'm pretty much used to traveling alone. And I think it's also good exposure therapy, like vlogging by myself and yeah, getting a lot of stares from everyone because it's not really normal to see people vlogging in the wild. But yeah, I hope that you guys can try to add Atami to your itinerary if you like onsen and if you like art, I guess. Um, it is quite old, like I'm not gonna lie. The town, especially right in front of the station, looks a little bit looks a little bit beat up. But aside from that, I think there's also a charm to it that it looks, you know, like well loved. Like a lot of people have gone here and spent their summers here. Um, and unfortunately, I won't be able to watch it. But they do have a fireworks show tonight. It's just I know that the station is going to be crazy crowded, so I won't be able to go. second floor of the museum and I see that they have a no theater and I don't know if I'm ever going to watch a no performance in my life but I do want to see what the inside of the theater looks like so let's go check it out wow it smells like really old wood transported into the royal palace in Kyoto where it was assembled to allow Hideyoshi to host Emperor Ogima Ogimachi in a tea ceremony. That's so cool. Okay, I'm about to enter the gallery now. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to <laughs> take pictures of, but you know, let's see. So it took me a while to find all the galleries that the museum had, but once I found them, I really liked the pieces in the gallery. Normally, I don't really gravitate towards traditional Japanese art, but seeing it, like it, there was kind of a modern twist to the kinds of pictures and depictions that they had that I really enjoyed. I especially like seeing depictions of old Tokyo or you know, traditional Japanese kabuki actors. Um, I don't know, there's just something to it that's so appealing to me. And there was so much in the gallery. So, would I recommend it? Yeah, maybe it would be better if you honestly brought a car here or went earlier. Maybe went on a weekday so it's not so crowded. But I enjoyed myself more than I thought I was going to. At first I was like, where are the galleries? Why am I walking aimlessly around this huge building? But yeah, once you... It's like, it's also not very overwhelming. Like the collections, they're just, there's just enough for you to see unlike in other places where you don't even know what to look at first. So yeah, um, now I'm going to head back to the bus stop and head to the main Atami station area, maybe go around the shopping street and get a snack because I didn't get a snack after lunch. And you know, I'm on a date trip so I might as well get something sweet. So aside from the MOA Museum of Art, there are so many other tourist destinations that I unfortunately won't be able to visit today. Still, it makes me happy. That means I have something to come back to. This is what I really wanted to go to, but it is quite far from the station and I don't think I'm going to make it in time if I try to catch the train that I'm going to catch on the way home. So, yeah. Atami is actually quite big. We've only been like here and then the MoA Museum of Art somewhere here. And everything else is like this side. So many people today. I guess everyone had the same idea as me. 
which is to come to Atami on a long weekend. But yeah, let's see what they have here. Look for a snack, a cafe perhaps. Generally, Atami feels like a very old town. There was another one I went to a few years ago called Kinugawa Onsen. And that was like Atami, like the age is probably the same, but it's so much more run down. Atami, not as much. And there's so many families here, it's so crowded. I remember thinking, and I remember feeling really sad when I went to Kinugawa Onsen because there was barely anyone there. All the onsen there looked really sad, like no one's visited it in years. But Atami's bustling, there are so many people. And I guess because it's easy to get to from Kanagawa and Tokyo, so it's a pretty manageable day trip. Before I forget, I have to look for pasalubong for shogo or like omiyage, like a souvenir. What should I get him? gelato place looks good okay let's go get some they have so many types I ended up getting the soybean or zinda zinda flavor and this wheat and chocolate hazelnut flavor hopefully it's good I haven't tasted zinda in so long the last and first time I tasted it was when I went to Sendai and that's what they're looking for. And ever since then, I've been looking for it. I'm so happy to have found it in Atami. Mm. So this looks really famous. It's called Atami Butter Pan. So it has this anko or sweet red bean paste inside the slice. Looks really famous. Oh my gosh, look at that line. I would get some for Shogo, but I don't know. The line's so long. This is like one of the first shopping streets I've been to that has seating right in the middle. Normally they don't do that because, oh my gosh, wait, it's starting to rain really hard. Uh-oh. Oh well. It's fine. I guess I'll just look for a cafe to sit at then. Unfortunately, the cafe I wanted to go to is full and they said that if I wanted to wait, I'd be fourth in line. And I'm like, uh, okay, so I just left my name and number anyway, but I don't think I'll be able to eat there today, unfortunately. So let's just explore the rest of the shopping street and yeah, head home. Oof. I had no idea this was so much longer than how it looked like outside. Crazy. So Shogo really likes sembe or like rice crackers, so I think that's what I'm gonna get for him. This isn't so expensive, it's like 500? Nice. What should I get? He likes mayonnaise though. Maybe the mayonnaise one. So cute! Oh my god, I think this is for the line for the pudding ice cream or something like that. Holy moly. So overall, would I recommend that you guys come to Atami? I would say yes, but I think just because everything's so spaced out, it would be better if you did an overnight trip. So next time I come back, definitely overnight, and I want to explore the main town of Atami. I want to go to the other museums, and maybe I'll go during summer so I can catch the um, fireworks display. I know it runs until October, but yeah, I think it's too soon to go back to Atami. So it's, it feels small enough that like things here are pretty compact, but it just takes a little bit of time. I feel like if I had planned this better, I would have done a lot more, but it's also nice to just like go on random day trips without any itineraries from time to time, and I think I might start doing it more. So yeah, if you've already explored Kamakura, Enoshima, why not head to Atami? It's going to be a little bit more expensive than going to Kamakura, but 
I feel like it has its own charm. I really like walking around the shopping street. There's so many eateries there. But I think the best thing that I tried today was definitely the Aji Fry set at Yui. I can really recommend that place. The staff are very friendly, although I don't know if they would be able to manage if you could only speak in English. Still, I think, you know, you can use Google Translate and whatever, and it should be fine. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you later.